Hey everyone, it's Loomer. Uh, so as you may remember, last month I was lucky enough to be invited up to Ubisoft Montreal for the launches of Assassin's Creed Unity and Rogue. Uh, so I thought I'd share some pictures from that trip with you guys, and at the very end of the video I'll give an update on my channel and kind of what videos I have in store for 2015. First up are some shots of Montreal as we were flying in, and the main Ubisoft building. Ubisoft was nice enough to let my girlfriend Candace tag along, she bought her own flight. So a couple of years ago I had seen this picture of someone from Ubisoft Montreal who had put um, these free hugs sticky notes on a big banner of Ezio. So when I visited the studio, of course one of my highest priorities was to find this banner and take up Ezio on his offer. There's so much cool stuff that's just lying around the office, like this awesome concept art from AC4. And I was just tempted to take some of this home, like it's like they're not going to miss it, right? <laughs> Here's some artwork I found of what I affectionately call Soul Patch Ezio. This is the Helix area of the studio. Um, it might not be obvious in the picture, but that's not the shadow of my hand. That's actually Altair's um, shadow hand that's already on the door. Um, so this team is responsible for a lot of the really cool kind of high resolution artwork and images the, a lot of times are on box covers and stuff. So they have all these really cool things like this awesome picture of Edward Kenway I found in the style of AC1. Of course, we couldn't visit Montreal without trying some poutine, which was really delicious. I also got to try some maple flavored cola, which was really gross. It was definitely not delicious. So later that night, we were really fortunate to be invited to the dev team launch party for Unity, or the rap party as they call it. There were some people in costume walking around, there was a life-size statue of Arno that we took pictures with, apparently Ubisoft has a few of these. Um, there were lots of people from the dev team obviously, as well as some of the voice actors. And they also had this photo booth area, which was really awesome. So most of the Ubisoft people in these pictures are com devs, uh, and I think we should all just take a minute for this picture and appreciate the amazing hair that's going on here. And then there's this amazing edit that Culpreet made out of that picture. And here's a shot of the wristbands and the party favors from the party, which were um, French flag colored candies. The next day was the launch day live stream of Unity and Rogue, uh, hosted by Gabe and Andy. Of course, this was the main reason I was brought up to Ubisoft Montreal in the first place, along with Culpreet, who's the girl in these pictures. Um, Culpreet's a really awesome cosplayer from the UK. Um, she's a huge Assassin's Creed fan, and I met her first uh, at E3 where she was one of the Uplay ambassadors, so it was really good to see her again. So we all played co-op on the live stream, and it was a ton of fun. And here's some pictures of us after the live stream was over. And then later that night, we all went out and got delicious dinner and desserts, which we proceeded to tweet. And finally, I'll leave you with some shots of the UB Workshop showroom, which was really awesome. I'm a huge fan of UB Workshop and everything they make. So yeah, it was an amazing trip. Um, I got to meet a lot of people, both old and new, that were really cool. Um, I got to see a lot of amazing things that I can't talk about because I signed an NDA. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much to Ubisoft and especially to Andy and Gabe for, you know, inviting slash hosting and having me up at Ubisoft Montreal. Uh, it was just an awesome time and I had so much fun. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up the trip. Um, I'm sorry it's been so long since my last video. Uh, partly been finishing the games and dealing with real life stuff. Um, I went to Vegas for the PlayStation experience, which was awesome. Um, and then also just partly burned out a little bit from uh, doing the weekly pilgrimage episodes that I did lately. Um, but I finally finished both Unity and Rogue, and after the holidays, uh, I'll be looking to kick off a new round of podcasts for both games, including some chats with writers, voice actors, composers, you know, the usual. Uh, and there's definitely a lot to talk about. You know, I think both games have their strengths and weaknesses, and I think it'll be a really good round of interviews. Um, I also have various ideas for other AC videos, as always, um, kind of just random videos, but um, time is kind of a factor, and so for the next few months, I'll mainly be focusing on getting those podcast episodes out. Um, I'm also hoping to do some more live streams soon. Uh, I'm mainly waiting on Elgato to update their Mac software so I can do kind of picture-in-picture -picture, uh, webcam video with the live streams. I think that'll be really cool. Um, and so that's pretty much it for the near future. So 
hopefully you enjoyed the pictures and the updates. Uh, let me know what you thought. And I hope you all have a great time over the holidays. And stay tuned because uh, I'm hoping to put out a lot of awesome content in 2015. See ya.